Ladies and gentlemen, today on the program, happy anniversary to the John Huff podcast and the announcement of the end of season one. I'll explain on the other side, kids, in what is destined to be the shortest episode of the show. Let's get right to it, shall we? Denny boy, reach on over here and tap that button and roll intro. You're listening to the John Huff Podcast. Oh, yeah. I once read a magazine article about the late, great Franco Colombo. Now, Franco Colombo is a bodybuilding legend. Two-time winner of the Mr. Olympia contest and widely regarded as one of the strongest bodybuilders of all time. Something else you might want to know about Franco is that he was best friends and training partners with a tall, strangely named Austrian bodybuilder called Arnold. Now, back in the 1970s, which was the Arnold and Franco heyday, The whole bodybuilding world was basically based in California. And that's where all the top pros trained, and most of the top amateurs too. And we call that the golden age of bodybuilding. And a lot of the great personalities of the sport existed and were training in those days. People look back on it fondly, and if you watch the movie Pumping Iron, which brought Arnold to a national consciousness, you can see a little bit what the golden age of bodybuilding was like. None of that matters, okay? But the article was about what life was like for Arnold and Franco in those days. And you can imagine in the mid-70s, those two were the big names in bodybuilding. Arnold was largely considered king of the big bodybuilders and king overall, and Franco, who was smaller, shorter, was king of the under 200 pounders. And as they trained together, the rest of the scene kept close eyes on Arnold and Franco. What are they up to? What are they doing? How are they training? And so there came a day when Arnold and Franco met for their training session, as they did every day, and they were training shoulders that day. And it just wasn't happening, kids. They weren't getting what they call the pump. Now, Arnold has compelling things to say about the pump in the Pumping Iron movie. But as this is a G-rated family show, I'm not going to go into that. Check it out on the YouTube, or I think on Netflix, and you can hear Arnold's comparisons of the pump. Anyways. The pump wasn't happening. They weren't into it. They weren't feeling it, you know? It wasn't coming together for them. And so they decided to leave the gym. And they went and had breakfast. And the rest of the bodybuilding world went crazy. Where are they going? They're not training. What are they doing? What are they doing? Well, there was no great conspiracy. There was no gamesmanship afoot. There was nothing compelling happening except they weren't getting a pump. They were tired. They were burned out. They had been training hard. And at a certain point, the body just needs a break. And the mind just needs a break. And that's where I'm at, kids. On the weekend, I sat down to try to do an episode to celebrate the one-year anniversary of the John Huff Podcast, which we passed last week on April 12th. And I worked really hard at trying to get that episode together, but guess what? Just wasn't getting a pump. 
It wasn't happening. The words weren't coming. And just like Arnold and Franco decided, we don't have it today. We're going to go have breakfast instead. We're going to go recharge, re-energize, relax a little bit, come back to it later when we're ready. I have taken the wisdom of Franco and the wisdom of Arnold. And I'm going to go have a kind of breakfast too. That means I gotta step away from the podcast for a little while, kids. Gotta recharge the batteries, cause let's take a look at the past year. I did 45 episodes of the show in 52 weeks. I did them in four countries on two continents. I did them from coast to coast in the back of a van in Canada. Riding along and editing... Riding along and taping in hotels in Germany and Timmins, Ontario, and as far south as the Mexican border in Texas. And it's been gratifying and it's been cool, but it's been an enormous amount of work and the pump is just off. And I'm not too smart, kids, but I'm smart enough to know when it's time to take a little rest. And the world we live in right now is telling most of us to take a little rest. And I was just out at the grocery store, and it's tense, man. Everybody's very civil, but you feel this undercurrent of tension. And we have this time right now. And I talked on the last episode about what will you be when it's over. And there was an encouragement there On one hand, to apply yourself to something, but on the other hand, there's an encouragement to step back from something, to reevaluate, to reassess. What we're seeing out there is a shift to a different kind of world. And, you know, as the saying goes, as without, as within. A new world is happening out there. There's an opportunity for a new world to happen in here. And yeah, In some cases, that means applying yourself to something, and in some cases, that means stepping back from something. Taking a look. Taking a look at what actually works, not just in terms of results, but what actually works in terms of your fulfillment, your satisfaction, what makes you happy. You know, maybe there are certain things in your life that need to be tweaked. Certain things in your life that have maybe lost the appeal that they had when you started and have lost maybe the corresponding results, whatever those results are, whether that's just a simple pleasure or financial or whatever. This enforced quiet time that a lot of us are feeling is an ideal opportunity to evaluate those things, to look at your life and say, where do I want to put my energy? Where has putting my energy best served me over the past six months, year, two years, ten years? And I said before, who will you be when it's over? Well, for me, that question extends to what will you do when it's over? And I need to step away from the podcast for a little while. might be a short break just to recharge, but I need to reevaluate it. And I need to look at what works and what doesn't work and what fulfills me and what does not fulfill me about doing it. And that's a healthy thing. You know, there's a certain amount of wisdom required to recognize when you're not getting the pump. Whatever you're applying that to in your life. Could be the gym. Could be overtraining. Could be wearing yourself out. Could be practicing music. Are you getting the pump anymore? Is it driving you? Or is it just something you're doing by rote? Is it something you're doing because that's what you do? If there's a product you create or a job you do, is your heart in it? If your heart's not in it, it's hard to get the pump, man. It's hard to feel that drive that pushes you to excellence pushes you to effort when at times maybe the effort isn't all that rewarded. So, you know, right now, we're being forced into this kind of evaluation, especially if, like me, you're mostly at home. 
with kind of time on your hands that you're trying to occupy, it's an act of courage to step into that silence. It's something that I've avoided. I've not been good at it. I got the monkey mind. It's one of the reasons I had insomnia all last week, thinking about this and what to do about it. So it's not an easy thing to do to step away from whatever you're stepping away from, especially if it's a habit, especially if it's a routine, especially if it's something that you've put a lot of energy into, but you only serve it, in my opinion, if you step away when the time is right to step away. For me right now with the show, having done 45 episodes in 52 weeks, everywhere from hotels in Germany to the back of a van going down a mountain in British Columbia. Time is now. Time is right. Need to think. Need to rest. So what we have here, just past the one-year anniversary of the show, is what I'm going to call the end of Season 1. 45 shows, about 45 hours of content for you now. Some of you have told me, that you haven't had time to listen to all the episodes because I've been banging them out pretty much one a week. Now's the time, kids. Go listen to those back episodes that you haven't heard yet. And take some time to think. If you're at home right now and you're not working or you've got time to kill that you didn't have before, step into the silence a little bit. If you're confused, if you're not sure what to do with yourself, now is the time to go inside and just think. Take a look at what fires you, man. Take a look at what gives you the pump. Take a look at what works for you. Take a look at what doesn't work for you. Figure out what to do about that. That's what I'm going to do. And maybe that's what you're going to do too. So it's hiatus time for the moment. Temporary, I expect. But... As I close off season one of the podcast, the great 45 episode experiment, and that's what it's been, a thank you for hanging with me, those of you who have, through interviews and rotisodes and solo sodes, and what is this guy doing? I want to thank you for that. I want to thank Seamus Evely for helping me get this thing started. I want to thank Denny Gauthier for the intro music. I want to thank the great Howie Zowie for the talk over music at the end of each episode. I'm going to sign off here, kids. And those of you who complained about the one hour and 46 minute episodes can be pleased with this 12 or 13 minute jobby. I got some relaxing to do. I got some thinking to do. What I want you to do is the same as much as you can. I know times are weird right now. I know times are strange right now. So just step back and assess. Use this time to step back and assess. And focus on doing the things that fulfill you, my friends. Focus on what makes you happy. Bring more of that into your life. Or prepare the way to bring more of that into your life. Whatever gives you the bump, my friends. That was like an Austrian-Spanish Arnold. Go watch Pumping Iron. It's very, very inspiring for anyone. Especially Arnold's thoughts on the pump. I'm already rambling, folks, and what does that tell you? Time for your humble host to take a breather. I hope you take a breather, too. Take care. Look after yourselves. We're going to get through this. All right? Bye for now. Thank you once again, gentle listener, for taking in today's show. If you want to know more about the program, go to www.john-huff.com. That's J-O-H-N-H-U-F-F.com and click on podcast. You can also find the show on Facebook at The John Huff Podcast. If you're an Instagram person, you can find me at JW underscore Huff. If you're a Twitter person, you can find me at at J.W.S. Huff. No matter where you listen to the show, please do me a big, big favor and leave a rating and review. Preferably a positive one. 
That's all the time we have for today, but I'll be back very soon. Until then, keep your wits about you, and remember... Good things happen when you put yourself out there. Bye for now. Sha na na na, sha na 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 na, sha na, sha na na na, sha na 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 na, sha na, sha na.